Hello everybody, and um, here I am in Glastonbury, <laughs> Glastonbury Springs, it is um, 2nd of July 2024, and I'm here on the road where the White Spring Temple, you get there, the White Spring, and the Red Spring. And I'm using my um, stainless steel water containers. Um, spring water is the best water that you can get. Better than any filtered water, straight from nature. Our body recognises it. So what I've got here, uh, I've got three jerry cans. These are stainless steel jerry cans. You don't want anything bigger than 20 litres because it becomes quite um, heavy. Look at that, it's flowing fast today. England, we've had some rain, obviously it's the summer. And um, this one's full now. Usually I like to mix the water, or sometimes I just let it do what it does. This one's the white spring. It's, um, I call it white because it's calcium. Before I fill this up, I just get off any debris and dust that may be forming this area stain this still beautiful give it a bit of a rinse first any debris in the bottom swish wash goes um, down into the drains floods through here through this area and down and this one come is also the white spring it comes from a, an extra pipe that comes through uh, the spring up through the wall and then they've created this um, lovely water feature that goes eventually to the drain but don't worry this um, this spring is overflowing you can't really see inside um, it's very very dark in there Let's have a listen There we go. You just about see some candles going on. Really echoey. Um, yeah, so this is a no cell phone area, White Spring. If you want to know, it's Mondays and Wednesdays are closed, and then other times are between 1.30 p.m. till 4.30 and 5 p.m. so you can be naked in here but yeah it's a good it's very cold I've been there in the winter when it's been um, when it has been snowing Ooh. using my my pairings now I've been there in the winter when it's been snowing outside really cold it's a good plunge it's all the water that's come off from the hills from from Lashmi Tour. I'll take you for a, a view up there soon. But here I'm just collecting some spring water. Here's my secondary can whilst I've been recording and now it's full so I am done with that now. I come here once or a couple of times a month. This one's the red one and that's full. So I'm done. That literally took me. <laughs> that has taken me. Ah. That has taken me like a couple of minutes to fill that up. Uh, if we get a bit of a dry spell, like no rain, not much rain, it gets gets a bit less fast, the water. But the good thing about having stainless steel jerry cans is what I did some research. A friend of mine, uh, Lance, really helpful and very knowledgeable in um in lots of things and health so um don't use glass because glass is sometimes mixed with some plastics um and we want to avoid plastics in our water and our food any microplastics it's not natural to the body our body doesn't know what to do with it it creates hormone imbalances um toxicity etc we want really good fresh water the best that is from from springs 
So there's about four springs that I know of in the local area that I go to. Being in the London area, then I've usually ordered um, spring water in bulk. They come and deliver to your door and you can, you know, those, those devices that you put upside down. Another thing is using something, the, um, uh, the Berkey filter. There are other filters available that attach to that that I've researched in the past. I haven't used it now for a good five, six years because, um, you know, it's expensive. And also I've got this connected here. Um, when I was in Spain recently, I was using bottled water. I'm yet to find some springs. I'm sure there's a lot around, which I've seen a lot of land with springs. So when I end up being that way more, then I will I look at uh, go and collect springs. Uh, spring water but here is great because we have the white spring and the red spring the white spring is all calcium uh, yeah filled with calcium and the red one is iron we need both in our body naturally good thing to add is every time i have water i have a little bit of um, celtic sea salt um, and it's got 82 trace minerals <laughs> in it a tiny little bit of salt uh, under the tongue with water is the best thing you can do in the bottom of my um, water container where I have like a, a tap on it to, to um, you know get the water out of that I've collected uh, at the bottom of the container I put in shungite raw or tumbled shungite with rose quartz rose quartz seems to change the water taste it's, it's amazing it's lovely it feels really fresh and cool and the stainless steel has been a, a game changer I knew about this years ago, plastic, and forever I just, you get into routines and you just don't realise. I had these massive jerry cans, about 30 litres plastic um, containers, collecting about five of them, three, well, three or four of those on every journey, every month. And yeah, they're big, but um, the thing is that it's the microplastics in there, it's not good, it leaches into the water. So I've invested in some stainless steel jerry cans now these have been amazing um, you can really taste the freshness of the water still another important thing about water is that you need to you need to make it dance you need to make it move you need to make it vortex having water that is has structured in a way that it is vortexed and spiraled and shaken it's important to shake your water you know keep it moving because water is meant to move if it's still it's dead water it's like sitting water and all the debris and nutrients can sit at the bottom so it's important to, to shake the water so what i like to do is you know every time i get the water into a bottle that i usually have half fill it and i shake it for a bit just to get the water moving um you might think that water is just designed well it just sits yeah it sits but water it flows it's a liquid and if it's just sat just doing nothing for a long time it's important to have some movement to it so yeah, really happy. Anyway, um, speak to you soon. Okay, so there's three. We've got 60 litres there now. It's really helpful that these screws on these jerry cans are tight. But when you, before you're about to pour from this lid, you open this end and it lets out <laughs> a little bit of water if you're not careful. Um, lets out a bit of air, which actually, you know that bubbling feeling when you empty a can and you get that good, 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 it stops that. So having this open when you're emptying it into a water container um, is really helpful. Yeah, so it's uh, important to have that, um, that bolt open which lets a little bit of air out and you can put it into a water container with a tap on the important thing with a tap is because every time you want to drink you don't want to have to pick up this really heavy container and then empty it into a tiny cup so um, if you're looking to have better better water then look at a local spring there is a website called findaspring.com you should be able to find a local springs to you in your local area just be warned, don't take my advice for everything because in case there's a spring near you, wherever you are in the world, that might be contaminated. They will, they will notify where springs are and they should say if they're drinkable or not. And the local authorities of the area, especially like where I am here, 
um, it should be basically it should it should be tested for health and pollutants and bacteria etc so these springs because it's part of the chalice well gardens the uh, red spring is connected to the chalice well in Glastonbury so um, it's always tested and also the white spring because people bathe in the water so the water that we drink and collect doesn't come straight from the pools where people take a bath um, and naked and stuff but um, the source of it does get tested you know regularly so now I'm safe hands there is another well close to here um, in Coxley C-O-X L-E-Y, I think it's called, that has a, uh, yeah, really good water. And um, it's quite a quiet morning at the moment. And uh, yeah, Tuesday morning, not many people about actually, um, which is quite nice. I love coming here in the week because um, early in the morning, it's like what, 6 a.m. at the moment. Um, a lot of people are in the dream world. I've had my rest, I've had my dreams for this this morning um, yeah so it's a beautiful area it's summer although it doesn't feel like it recently because of whatever's going on in the world something's changing but water is life so if you want good water in your life sometimes you need to travel and explore and try to find something that is a lot more healthier for you stay away from, from bottled waters now this is a, an interesting fact which I always laughed at is that bottled water had a sell-by date and I always wondered like but, but that's water you know it's it's always going to be okay oh look a bit of synchronicity here here we have a, a bottle uh, an empty bottle I just found just laying there and I can't find a sell-by date but this is from a Chase Spring distributed uh, Litchfield UK but most bottles will have a date on there I can't find a date right now but the dates on bottles is for the bottle not for the water because water it doesn't go off um, it's basically the plastic of the bottle so if it's like two two or three years time it's saying then that's like that's the recommended time that you should drink out of the, the bottle um, I think even stuff like glass bottles have it, but that's just a a company health and safety thing they have to put on the bottle. They have to have a right regulations of um, food and, and water quality is to have a a date on there. So yeah, collect the water you can yourself. Now, if you if you live in a city and you can't get close to a spring, then there are several things you can do. I recommend. Um, buying a distiller which in the UK works really well because they generate some heat so in the winter time they generate some heat and it basically ev it evaporates the water into a container and leaves the debris in another container that you don't want you want the evaporated stuff and then through that I would suggest having that evaporated so having the distiller up high very up high and then it, it going down into another container which then filters through like a Berkey, a big, a big black Berkey filter and then what you do is that you have it going through another two filters which is um, a fluoride filter and a small contaminant filter and you can also buy another type of filter which has like a dome on it, a ceramic dome so I recommend doing that and going through layers of mineralization so you want to remineralize the water after the, the thing is first of all you need to get rid of all the pollutants from water itself so water coming from your tap has more medicine um, heavy metals than anything <laughs> because the filtration system that is out there through the massive government networks of pipes and and everything water system like Wessex water for example I'm not going to name companies just to give you an example they do filter for some reason they get rid of stuff and they also put bleach in it and, and fluoride to try and kill off the bacteria um, so heating the water in the process using um, using the other method I just said about um, it basically just it, it, it keeps the water squeaky clean that's what you want you want to get rid of all the heavy metals because heavy metals in your body isn't good it, it leads to all sorts of problems so do that 
a distiller, that's it. Put a distiller up very uh, up high, plugged in, and then if you can, if you're very clever, you can have it on a drip system. If you install a pipe going up to the top of it, and so your distiller is constantly on and it's making water slowly. So when you're away from home all day um, at work, you come back, then your system should work. It should be like dripping, like, you know, dripping um, consistently. And then if you have an overfill, then it's okay. Um, so I do have in mind to make that in the future. I don't need it right now because I collect spring water. But the important thing is to get a distiller. And if they are expensive, but you can buy secondhand ones. For some unknown reason, some people sell them on Facebook Marketplace or eBay. And you can get them very cheap, um, 40, 50 pound, 20 pound. You can buy cheaper ones, obviously. Um, so do that and remineralize it. Remember to take salts too, Celtic sea salts. Don't take table salt. It doesn't have the vitamins and minerals in there. But yeah, water is life. We are made of 99.9% .9 water at a molecular level and we need that in our body. I don't drink coke, I don't drink alcohol. I'm, you know, drug and alcohol free for, for many, many years now. And it's like, I don't miss it, I'm not interested. Um, yeah, you know, life, nature at its best is important. So that's me, just thought I'd share whilst I'm here in Glastonbury. Day in the life, <laughs> here I am. Well, I'm going to take a walk to the uh, Club of Glastonbury tour now and you'll see the views, perhaps. Anyway, take care for now. Much love. Speak soon.